Good morning. Making sure that I am live. There we go. Good morning, everyone. Okay, whoo. Good morning. <laughs> I'm so excited guys, I'm so excited. Um, today is so special, like it's such a special day for me. It's crazy, um, a year ago, I um, I was having, I don't know, I, I feel like I was going through like a 30s crisis, I don't know, I had just turned 31 and I was just like, why do we celebrate birthdays? Like, what is the whole point of this birthday stuff? Like, it's just another year on this planet. People are out here spending money on people, going out to dinner and celebrating them doing nothing. They live the same life. Nothing's different or anything like that. And um, I decided like, let's, let, I wanna give myself a reason to celebrate, right? Like I've been here another year and um, I'm doing what God intends intended for me to do. Like I'm actually making a difference in this world. And so um, when I decided to be obedient and make Jesus talk, um, the launch day, like there, it was no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I wanted it to launch on my birthday. Um, so today is a big day for everybody who already pre-ordered Jesus talk. You'll be getting it in the mail within the next few days, but it is time. Today is launch day. So I'm so excited. I'm just going to share a little bit more about Jesus talk, why I decided to create this, um, how it's transformed my life, my journaling experience, and then I'll even show you guys some of the inside of it. Um, thank you guys so much for the birthday wishes. I'm going to get back to so many of you guys soon, but let me, let's me let talk about Jesus Talk. So um, maybe about two years ago, I decided um, to get one year. Well, I'm going to just, let's just be honest. One year ago, for real, I decided I was going to start taking my journaling experience, my entire journey. I'm just going to take it so much more seriously um, so I could really connect with Christ, right? Like, I, well, at first I was just journaling because I wanted to get out of my head and just move forward. But then it was like, it became something so personal as I began to open up with this gratitude, just telling God what I'm grateful for, for the day. And just in ending my day with gratitude, it just opened up something and it just evolved into something so much more. And I was so lost. Like I'm sitting here like, well, how do I pray? Like, how can I make my prayers more effective? I'm reading books on how to pray. I'm reading, listening to podcasts. Like I'm just really eager and thirsty to connect connect to God more because I just felt like this, I had this world, right? Like I, especially being somebody who came into this business at 25 and seeing the heights that I've seen and seeing the checks that I've seen, I realized that it's not about the money. It's not like you could have $50,000 a month coming into your account, but when you don't have Jesus, you have nothing. And so as I realized that and I began to like, why am I still thirsty? Why am I still yearning? Right. And it's because I was not connecting to that water that doesn't run that well, that doesn't run dry. And so I decided to do it, but I didn't know how to do it. Right. It's like, I want to connect to you more, Jesus. I want to get to know you more, but I don't know how. And so that is where Jesus talk came into play. I went on a journey, guys. And so I'm just going to read to you out the back of this. It says it all starts with gratitude. It says Jesus talk is a personal journaling experience. So that is my personal journaling experience that I am sharing with you in hopes that you grow in gratitude. My prayer is that it, this helps you begin or even strengthen your connection to Christ. Um, so whether you're a beginner when it comes to Christ and strengthening that relationship or whether you're somebody who has been with Jesus for a long time, like you could benefit from this journaling experience. Um, it's through gratitude, honesty, and learning to truly give your prayers, concerns, problems, joys, and ideas back to the one who created you so that he can perfect them and help you impart them into the world so you can be the light he intended for you to be here on this fallen earth. So here's the thing, right? We're here for a reason. You're here for a reason. And this journaling experience is going to help you figure that out prayerfully. That's my prayer. My prayer is as you use it, that it helps you really dig deep and start to feel those convictions in a way that just, that makes you want to move your feet. So um, I'm going to show you the end. It says, you know, everyone, and this is something I want everybody to remember. Like every, every day, everyone starts at day one um, and every day can be day one. Like you can start over and over again every single time. So it doesn't matter. Every day can be day one. So I'm going to show you guys the inside of this. Um, 
So as you start your journaling experience, I do have an introduction here for you that just talks about um, what, how I came up with this, where it came from. Um, and then I also have some journaling prompts here, as you guys can see. So I give you 10 different journaling prompts, but really there's things that, and it's just really to get you going in that certain area. So, and then this is a, a excerpt from one of my journals. It's not full out excerpt, but it is an excerpt to kind of show you guys um, my experience. It is on Amazon as well, and I can drop that link, but you can also get it from my website that just went live today. Yay. Um, but it takes you through. So I just start with the date. And then AM gratitude because I do a PM gratitude as well. And I'm going to teach you about how I do a night gratitude. And hopefully you'll pick a partner and it'll kind of just spread throughout the world, right? Because that's the thing. Everything, gratitude precedes it, um, all things. And so we want to remain grateful. So it kind of just takes you through how I write my gra gratitude. And sometimes my gratitude is one word. It's like life. Like I'm grateful for life this morning, just depending on my day before. Um, and then I have a healing section. So just there's certain people and I know everybody has certain people who are on their heart and mind who you want them to be healed. Like you want them to feel better, whether it's sickness in their body, it could just be arthritis, like your grandmother dealing with arthritis pain and that's on your heart and mind or your kid is sick with a cold, like it could be anything. And so there's a section here where you're praying for healing and there's so many people that throughout this gratitude journey journey that I've been praying for, that I've seen them um, get their miracle. And so it's just like been such a blessing. There are people who are my healing that have been on there for years and I still believe that God is gonna heal them. So that section, and then there's an area for salvation. It says right here, so this is where I list names of people that I'm praying God will bring deliverance and salvation into their lives. So I'm not perfect, we know that. Like I'm no one, all falling short. Like I'm hot mess express too, but there are certain people who are, um, in the darkness and I'm praying that God delivers them and bring them out. And so every day I write their name down and I'm excited to rejoice in the day that they get their deliverance. So this next one is prayers and this is just my prayers in general. So I'll pray for my spouse. I pray for my children, specific prayers, my mom, I pray for my pastors, my leadership, um, friends, anything, anybody's name. So I actually list their name and then I'll put a specific prayer down. Um, this journal experience did start off at like 10, 15 minutes, but now I like to take an hour, hour and a half. He asked my husband, like I like to go over there, especially when I start to write about me. But I know that before I talk about me, I like to talk about other people. It's a part of prayer. You, before you ever get into your own personal prayers, when you start to pray for other people, you'll realize your prayers ain't that big anyway. You still want to petition the things that you have to Christ, but um, it's in the mail. Yeah. Um, so the next page, it is your affirmations. But I like to think of, I mean, you know, affirmations is cool, but I like to be reminded of what God said I am. So it, there, you, there's four spaces for I am. And then the last one is you made me to be. So just a reminder of who God made me to be. And then this is where you write whatever is on your heart and mind. So this is like the blank space um, here. And then this is just a journal insert that I had. And that specific day, I was outside and my mind was kind of just blank. So um, it's kind of chopped up because that's how our thoughts are, right? So my journal entry says, fight to get it right, see it through. Um, and I'm talking to myself, right? So I'm talking to me, like, fight to get it right. Like, fight, like, fight to get it right, see it through. And then I'm, I'm sitting here talking to, because this is Jesus talk. So I'm talking to Jesus. So my entire journal is to, to him. Um, so I've sat here staring at this paper about five minutes, not sure what I desire to put on here. And so I start to break down my surroundings. I said, the sun is shining. The birds are chirping. Brian took Trey to school and Zayden rode with him. Sugar is outside with him. Sugar's my dog. Um, I hear insects and bugs almost as if it's nighttime. On my mind are the million and one things that are not done and not taken care of or out of my control. I, I feel distracted, but today I'm choosing to leave all of it at your throne. So I'm sitting here talking to him. Like, I'm going to choose. Like, I feel a hot mess, but I'm going to choose that. And then I just go on in terms of how I'm feeling and the things that I'm giving to him. And this, of course, was probably a longer journal insert than this. But I decided to stop <laughs> instead of sharing page and page. So the thing is, um, I'm going to give you seven days of going through the journal um, in the format that I do. And then I want you to go and figure out your own because this is the format that works for me. But that might not work for you. You may need to add in some certain areas. So over seven days, I'm going to give you an extra Hey. Over seven days, I'm going to give you an example. So you'll see 
and it actually keeps going. So there's another section. So there's an area where I say, what are your concerns? And so I wrote down paying off debt, um, focusing on our needs versus our wants, the lack of reliability in people. Can we just get an amen there? Um, and then I even had a new, another, just a random thought that I just said, God purify my heart, right? That, that was perfect right there because I'm talking about other people. Like God help me, like I need help. Um, and then what do I want from you? And this is just being specific, like bullet point things that I really desire for God to change in my life. Um, and I just had, there one worders here, but it can be whatever you want. So I have change, clarity, strength, clear direction, discernment, doors open, family saved and serving obedience, obedience, help me Jesus to be obedient, healing, abundance, camaraderie, collaboration, debt free. So just some things that are on my heart. And then I just said, I said, sometimes throughout the day, I come and give an update to release my feelings to him. So just because you journal once in the day does not mean you're done journaling. Like, come back. Like, if you're feeling overwhelmed or you have things that are on your heart and mind, the whole point is for you, instead of running to your friends and family, that you run to your journal, which is literally running to Christ in a um, human way. Let's say that, you know, so everybody doesn't have the get on your knees and just drop down, which we eventually want you to get there. But journaling is a normal cultural thing. And so we're going to journal to Christ instead of talking to people. Um, there is no formality to this. I just start my day with gratitude and end my night with gratitude. And then I'm going to talk about here about how I chose a gratitude partner. So you'll get that as well. Um, I can't wait for you to find your rhythm as the spirit leads you. So I'm going to just show you guys the breakdown, um, here. So you'll get seven days of the breakdown as you guys can see. So you just fill it in for seven days. And then after the seven days, you'll have lines to fill out your own. So then you'll just, so that, I'm excited. I can't wait. This is my baby. Um, my first of many <laughs> babies. So I'm excited. And I'm, I'm going to, if I could just be honest with you guys, my biggest thing about Jesus Talk is I want you to feel the, the peace and the happiness that I have experienced through my journaling experience. And it's changed and transformed my life so much that I wanted to change and transform your life. Like, I want you to feel how I feel. I want you to feel connected to Christ the way I feel. You can ask my spouse, like, there are times that I will say, hey, <laughs> I need a moment. And I'm going to tell, I'm going to completely remove move myself from everything, including my phone. And I'm just going to take my journal and I'm in my Bible perhaps. And I'm just going to get everything off my heart and mind that I need to and give him space to reply to me because it's just me and him. So my prayer is that instead of you having girl talk all the time, that you go and you have Jesus talk. So it is available on my website as well as Amazon. And I will drop that link below, but I'm so excited for those who have supported me. I am so grateful and appreciative, but my prayer is that you would open up your mouth and speak to somebody else about it so that it would bless them because that's the biggest thing. Like I want this to bless other people and to help other people connect to Christ. Because when I started to connect into Christ more than I was connecting to people, it completely changed everything I know about life, um, my joy, my peace. I was not a pawn. It was not, I was not reactive. I was, when things started to come my way, I was not um, reacting to them, but I was rather taking time to respond because of, because my cup was full. <laughs> my cup was full. So as you use this tool, my prayer is that your cup will remain full because you're connected to the well that, does, that never runs dry. So I'm so excited. So happy birthday to Rachel. And uh, if you want to, listen, birthday gift, go ahead and order your Jesus Talk journey and then Jesus Talk journal. And then you tell me how it's blessing you. And that's going to be the biggest birthday present that I could ever have. So um, I can't wait. Thanks, guys.